Have you tried to reach level 99 for the Arcana unlocks but it just didn't work out? Well, here's a guide for you. I remove Curse because there's a good chance you might not be able to afford that. And I want to show you, yes, even without that, it will work. First of all, I will play Croji. I consider him the worst character out of all that currently have an Arcana unlock. I will play on hurry mode. However, if you fail to get 100 on hurry mode, just disable it, okay? Next up, either play on Inlaid Library or Dairy Plant. Both of them have a level up gem. I recommend Inlaid Library, it's easier, but Dairy Plant is also possible. Starting off, you already have very interesting choices of what you can go for. And if you tend to die a lot, just take a wake for the bonus revives and the bonus stats. But I will take Heart of Fire because that one is simply busted. And that will also be my goal. Well, there's Fire one already. Let's take it right away. Now usually in your case you won't find it this early and it's honestly not even a good starting weapon so you know it doesn't really matter to us but down the line you will find it very quickly so don't worry if you didn't get it. Now as you can see whenever I touch the enemies and I will take a track orb here whenever I touch the enemies they explode either way and they just die but I will end up losing a lot of health so let's not do that but firebond is actually not too bad to kill the enemies here. And there we have Song of Mana, the first puzzle piece. Now this is not needed, okay? I'm just showing you a guide, a way of doing it. You don't have to build exactly what I'm building. This is also not time sensitive. The main part is that you somewhat get to the point where I am. And you'll see later on at wave 29, it's more than enough. Let's keep going for Song of Mana because it's an amazing weapon. As you can see, it clears the enemies easily. But more importantly, later on, it will push back the enemies that you can't kill quickly. King Bible is yet again amazing. It's really good later on to push back the enemies again. And that is the main theme that you have going here. What I want to show you is not a build that gives you the most kills and the most levels. I want to give you a build. Ooh, crown. That is very good. Let's take it. I want to give you a build that is super, super comfortable and still gives you the level 99 easily. Oh, there we have Chiragisu, that would be an amazing pickup, but hey, I don't need it. I'll just go for King Bible. King Bible right now will get a lot of kills in, like when it's up or you can just run through the enemies and get all the kills. That is more than enough of what you need. Now, if you feel comfortable and you come across Skullomaniac, simply take it. You will evolve Song of Mana with it, but I will just show you don't need it. It's not needed, it's not necessary, so I will go for Cross instead. And another level in Cross. Whenever you play a different character, you have to figure out what the main point of the starting weapon is. And for example here, Cross is amazing to kill enemies early on, so I want to max it out early. If I have something else like Magic Wand on Imelda, that is not something I want to max out, right? I would rather look for a weapon that gets a lot of kills in, like Song of Mana. Uh, Garlic early on is really good without Curse, it just kills all the enemies. And while Garlic falls off later on, yes, that is totally true. The main use for Garlic is to just give you the levels early on that you get all the, the strong weapons. And afterwards, we'll just focus on knockback. We'll not focus on damage because we have Fire Wand. Spinach is needed, but I will pick up Kent Lapador here. It's more immediate help and a lot better for that. Dude, this empty tome doesn't want to stop showing up. I don't know what to do. Now, in your case, a lot of people want to take Pentagram. Personal opinion, you don't need it. Yes, it is very good if you know what you're doing, but if you get this timing wrong, if it takes you too long to max it out because there's a certain strategy with it, you'll mess yourself over more than it helps you. So let me just get something else like, yeah, that is um, amazing. Okay, Song of Mana, nice. Now talking about pentagram strategy, the strategy is quite simple. You max out everything pretty much until only a few levels are left over. Oh, Spellbinder, that's a good one, let's take it. Until only a few levels are left over and then you just wait. You just sit here, you kill a ton of enemies and one big red gem will accumulate. Like, let's just say you sit there for two to three minutes, okay? That red gem has all the current experience in it, and when you collect it, you get like 15 level ups, right? That means you get to max out your other weapon, but more importantly, if you manage to find Pentagram, it will allow you to max it out immediately, and you don't have this struggle with, oh my god, my Pentagram blasted away all the chests and stuff like this, right? 
that is the strategy how you do it with pentagram. So if you want to give that a try, give it a try. I just want to show it's not necessary. Now it's 6 minutes if you are on library and I recommend playing here. It's easier than Dairy Blend. Head over to the empty tome that is on the map since you want to pick it up as 7th passive weapon. In case you didn't know that, when you have full passive weapons you can't get another one. However, if they are once on the map you can still pick them up and add them to your roster. The reason why I do it at 6 minutes is because there are barely any enemies spawning and they are quite tanky. So for me this is the best time to move away and waste kill time, you know, not focusing on kills and just running through. Alright, I'm here and here's just a quick reference point for what I have right now. You can compare this with yours. If you're significantly below, then you might need to take some risks. It's even very efficient to take Empty Tome right now just to get a lot of levels in early on. Like, you don't have to, of course, you're wasting a passive weapon slot. However, there are not that many good passive weapons that you really need. As in, you really need them. Now that I'm at 8 minutes 24, I will focus on Fire Wand and look to get Spinach. If you get Spinach offered like I did with Candelabrador, you might be better off to just take Spinach, right? It's guaranteed nothing will go wrong anymore. I feel insanely comfortable with this because I've done this a lot of times, so I know how many levels I will roughly get and stuff like this. But for you, if you are unsure and if you just want to guarantee it, just make sure to always pick the stuff that you need to win. There's another level in Fire Wand and I will pick this chest. Let me see. Song of Mana, very nice. That will just help me to clear the enemies. Wave 8, 9, 10 and well later on again more, more waves. They are insanely good for experience farming as you can see. Now if you have Curse, you'll swim in experience here. I do have to make do with what I have here, but it's still really good as you can see. Another level in Fire Wand. Ooh, the problem might actually be that I don't get spinach in time. Now at 10 minutes, the next boss spawns, or the first boss spawns that we care about, because he has a chest that can evolve. Do not pick up this chest if you have nothing to evolve, and make sure that Fire Wand is the only thing that you can evolve right now. Like as you can see, nothing else is maxed out that I could evolve. So what I'll do here is, I'll wait until he dies, I'll remember where the chest is, just in case there are future chests, that they don't mess it up, and then I'll wait until Fire Wand is level 8. There's the Arcana bed. That is definitely one that I want to have, so let me just stay a bit closer and make sure I kill it. The big boss hasn't died. I have to be careful that they don't die at the same time and then I don't see which is the chest that I want to keep for the evolution. Okay, he just died. By the way, if you're looking for spinach like I am right now, you can just start banishing weapons instead of taking something that is not that great like Hand Labrador in this moment because it makes it more likely that you get it offered. Now there's another evolution, so if I want to I can just evolve this chest over here and the bat is the one that has the arcana. There we have duplicator, that is an amazing one so I'll take it. You don't have to go for duplicator by the way, it's just very beneficial. Here's fire wand, the reason why I say that is because it's rare. And there's spinach, amazing, so now I need only one more level in fire wand and I can evolve it. And here I have an Arcana, so what I'll pick is... I'll go for Slash, Slash will be amazing. I'll have Death Spiral and it will make the Death Spiral crit, which means it'll get a lot of kills. Now I do have two chests to evolve, right, but I only care about evolving one weapon right now. So what I'll do is I'll pick up one and hope it's Fire Wand. It's not Fire Wand, but it's fine. I'll keep the second chest around and here's a new enemy. If I get a chest from this bed, I'll also pick it up just to get Fire Wand. Well, no need to do that, there's Fire Wand, let's go over here and pick up this chest. And there we have Hellfire, and <laughs> just look at this by the way, look at this, ah, come on fire. It's very small, but it will kill a majority of the enemies that it hits, and now we can pick up Empty Tome, and if you want to, you can walk over to the other Empty Tomes that spawned, for me it's super far away, so it's not worth it, and it's only one, right? But now let's just focus on maxing out everything. And there's X, perfect. Yeah, maxing out everything and getting the stuff that you actually need. Whenever you get Empty Tome offered, just take it, okay? It's an insanely good pass of weapons. According to my own opinion, it's the best pass of weapon in the game, followed by Duplicator and Kent Labrador, simply because of what they provide you with, as in kill potential and how much they kill. So yeah, I highly recommend going for that. And what I'm looking for right now is Labora. 
Now one thing that you can go for instead of any of these weapons is garlic. Garlic is insanely good because of its knockback, like I talked about this in the beginning. If you need to figure out which weapon to ignore, it's either King Bible or it's Death Spiral. Like if you already took garlic and now you have to get rid of one of the weapons that I have, just get rid of King Bible or Death Spiral. The Labora is way too good, like it's really insanely good, you don't want to get rid of that one. Oh, this is really bad. I'm not getting the weapon that I need. Like, I'm not getting the, the uh, center water. You want to make sure that you have all the weapons as early as possible, just that nothing can go wrong anymore. And I want to focus on maxing it out. Okay, X is also fine. So I have two evolutions right now. One evolution, the X, is insanely good. So I want to make sure I get the Death Spiral soon. The other evolution, the King Bible, is not that great. Like, don't get me wrong, the weapon is great, but not if you want to kill as many enemies as possible. Oh, my poor garlic. I'm so sorry for you, but I want Labora. Now, right now, as you can see, I have three bosses on my screen. That means I could actually just pick up this chest over here, since at least one of them will drop a chest. But for now, I'll just wait, get King Bible, and there we go. Okay, so, as you can see, three chests. I will pick up one of them. That is amazing. And doesn't this look good? That looks really good. Now, if you're looking for a final weapon like I am, you m okay, that is that is that is just amazing. But you might want to stop picking up chests since it takes away from the level ups that you have on your weapons, and that might lead to a very weird scenario where you're maxed out, but you still miss a weapon, so you're forced to reroll, banish, and skip, and that might put you into into a situation where you don't get the weapons that you want to have. Now, at this point in the game, you of course want to max out, but look for something that is blue and... Here, yeah, blinking. Perfect. This is a vacuum. Whenever you pick up a vacuum, it will collect all the experience on the map, wherever it is. Doesn't matter. Why is this good? Well, it will allow you to just stand still and at 29... Let's say 55, you know, just for comfort. At 29.55 you pick it up and it will collect all the experience for you. While you're leveling up, you're invulnerable. That means the Reaper that spawns, he can't do anything against you, right? You're invulnerable. So you can just level up, get all the levels in, and you're good to go. Now, something like this here with the freeze is very dangerous later on. You don't want to have that happen to you. Freezes kill the kill amount that you get, because the enemies are not accumulating in spots towards you. And, I mean, they're frozen, you know? You can't expect too much out of them then. But be aware, once you have a tracked orb at level 5, like I have, at least I think, your pickup range is insanely big. Like, it's huge. Don't position yourself too close to the vacuum, thinking that, you know, you just take the usual pickup range. No, that thing is huge. If you don't get a vacuum, this is also not too bad, since the enemies, they only die around you, right? Like, you don't have to be too concerned that, oh no, I don't have one, I will not get a level up. Nah, nah, nah. With the attract orb that you have, you just have to move around a little bit and you get all the experience. And instead of waiting until 29.55 to do that, you just do it earlier. And there we go, I have sent off. That is amazing. Now while it's great to get these penta chests, they don't do that much. Like they're not necessary, but by far not. You would not even need to pick up the chests. And in this case, it actually maxed out the King Bible, which I didn't want to have now. Like, what I wanted to evolve is the axe here, but there's a new boss, so it doesn't matter, I'll just... Okay. I mean, that is... That is more luck than I have in my gold record runs, that is a joke. <laughs> and we just got the last axe level. Okay, I mean, okay, that that, that is now slightly stupid. I, I, I gotta agree to that. Again, doesn't have a huge impact on this since you get more than enough levels to do this. But once you're maxed out, as you can see, everything is now maxed out a bit earlier than expected. All you have to do is look for the minute 21 bat. This is this one over here. And it's the last arcana that you can get, okay? So let's just take this, let's look what we get, what we can choose here. And do I have anything that is good? So the bounces are insanely good with Hellfire. Trust me, it's 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 ridiculous. If you don't get this, like you don't need to be precise, right? I have really good stuff over here. All you need is just the explosions, right? So I will position myself over here with the vacuum next to me. Ah, this position is actually not that great. Okay, let me go over here. I really like this position here. 
And what I want to do is I want to avoid leveling up. Now with the insanely high level of the Attract Orb, I will still level up uh, quite a few times. If you want to avoid that, then just banish it. Why do you want to avoid it? The reason is simple. Most, but not all enemies, scale with your level. Okay, so the more levels you have, the more HP they will have, the harder it is to kill them, the less experience you get, the less levels you get. And th that's pretty much it. That's all the magic to it. We just wait now, we sit here, we let the enemies walk into us and just die. Labora is just a protection shield for us. This is why I said it's a comfort build. However, if you want to maximize your kills, you can also run around, let them run into Labora and die. Now, if you look at our level, we are level 63. To reach level 99, we will not need a lot of experience, so there's no need for me to do that. Oh, look at the kill counter shooting up. Take a look at top right. This is amazing. All the kills. Do you see the hellfires going through the enemies and nothing is left? It's like a lawnmower, except it's with fire. It's like a lawnmower that is a flamethrower. I don't know why you would want to have that, but it's amazing. Look at the boss here. Look at him. Walking in, stepping on the labora, and it's like, yeah, yeah, goodbye. Yeah, that was nice knowing you. Hey, don't rely on this, okay? Don't do this exactly this way. There's a chance he doesn't get hit by hellfire or so and he kills you. Don't do this what I did here. Like, just move a bit. Ah, uh, it's so nice seeing these guys die. That is the benefit of not having curse, you know? Like, I'm just watching them, I see the green stuff getting burned, and it's just gone. Actually, they're, they're quite tanky here, I gotta say. Like, I mean, they still die like flies if you look at the kill counter, but not as fast as the previous ones. Do I feel a penta chest here? Do I feel a penta chest? No, no, I didn't. I didn't feel one. I, I knew that. That, that. that was a given. You see, the best thing for me to do would be to not move around at all, because the game accumulates all the experience in one big red gem right now. And whenever you move around, especially when you pick up experience, instead it creates a new one. So if you had no vacuum, never move around, okay? But, but I, I can't just sit here and let this, this, this is too much. I need this. Okay, let me just, let me start a walk. Oh, oh, the red gem is over there, probably. Um, actually, I don't see it. So I could maybe pick up the chests here. No, okay. Let's not be stupid for once. Is there a red gem to the left? Ooh, there's actually a lot of experience in general. Let, let's just stay here, okay? Let's not do something stupid. 29 minutes, and keep in mind... This time is ticking twice as fast as normal, so if you determine you need 10 seconds to walk to the vacuum over there, uh, make it 20, okay? So what I'll do is, at around, let's say 40, I will walk over there, that's more than enough time. And there we go. And maybe walking over there, I already have a 50% chance that a red gem that has all the experience is over here. And I will just level up a huge amount of times here. Okay. So there we go, vacuum is picked up, all the experience is flying in, let's see what level I end up with. And there we go, level 122. Hey, that is, you know, that is actually quite a lot. Chest, 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 chest. Come on, I, I, I need this. I need the gold. So what I'm using right now is the invulnerability that you get from picking up chests. Yes, not only level ups give you invulnerability, but also chests. And that was it now. If you fail to do it, just turn off hurry mode, you will get way more experience, and use curse if you need to. Good luck.